like the first actual occupation and like protests that we've had, but we have had other general assembly. We've had general assemblies. So. We've been heated debate between libertarians and communists about what the best way is to bring the change we want to see, but uh -huh. nobody suggested that any t any particular message should be heard. I think if somebody refuses to pay attacks on ethical grounds, violent means should not be used whatsoever. Tonight's gathering drew in a diverse crowd of people, some dissatisfied with government, others upset with corporate-dominated capitalism. But they now Maybe about 30 people there. There's also uh, a number of tents here. I'll show you and uh, an RV, um, which is feeding people. So they're getting food donations and feeding the folks here, which is pretty cool. Aim for transparency. Is there someone, uh, someone I can talk to? Is someone a spokesman? Or... Uh, not right here. We're having a general assembly meeting right now. Yeah, is there, is there somebody I can speak to that's a spokesman for the problem? Uh, not really sure. I'm, this is my RV. Okay. Uh, I'm in charge of the kitchen. I think it's just a bunch of individuals. I don't think there is a spokesperson. Do you mind if I film? Um, transparency? Well, you know, um, I'm all for transparency, but we're really trying to put our best foot forward here with the, with the city. Um, and and I, I'd really like to, to just see what we can, okay. we can do. I respect you. When the individual showed up, I asked if he mind if I filmed, and he said, well, I'm all for transparency, but, uh, you know, we're trying to have good rapport with the police department. So, I mean, I respect his wishes. I don't agree with it, but, you know, i got to respect him. So. You know, hopefully this uh, continues and these guys don't get harassed, but let's see what happens. Uh, there's maybe 40 or so people here. Uh, some private donations have paid for a few porta potties on sites. Uh, there's a clothing drive, so folks are donating clothing to keep other people warm. A couple of Manchester PD officers showed up and uh, communicated to an individual here that uh, there were some concerns over the food being given away. Uh, local Manchester resident drove his RV out here. Folks are donating there and has been parked here since Saturday since the Occupy Manchester began. And uh, they uh, essentially gave a warning, veiled threats to say uh, leave by tomorrow or else. There's tents here and that was another issue the police supposedly had. So a lot of folks have shown up tonight and are talking about what to do about that uh, if the police do come. Good, there's some good folks here, some good conversations to be had. Now this might seem pessimistic. Now this might seem pessimistic. But I don't think that we'll ever be able to reach consensus. But I don't think that we'll ever be able to reach consensus. On a detailed statement of beliefs or demands. On a detailed statement of beliefs or demands. I would rather focus our energies. I would rather focus our energies. On innovating new methods. On innovating new methods. Of helping everyone. Have, have their voice heard. Have their voice heard. We all have demands. We all have, have demands. demands. Some are shared. Some are shared. shared. Others are strictly those of an individual. Others are strictly those of an individual. But we believe that every person. But we believe that every person has a voice which should be heard. Has a voice which should be heard. Yeah. I think in my own personal view, I think in my own personal view, we can all agree, we can all agree that there is something is wrong with our government. That something is wrong with our government. Want to read? I want to 
want to read. The New Hampshire Constitution. The New Hampshire Constitution. Constitution. Article 10. Article 10. Article 10. Right of revolution. Right of revolution. Whenever the ends of government are perverted. Whenever the ends of government are perverted. And public liberty manifestly endangered. And public liberty manifestly endangered. And all other means. And all other means. Of redress are ineffectual. And of redress are ineffectual. The people may. The people may. And of right ought to. And of right ought to. Reform the old. Reform the old. Or establish a new government. Or establish a new government. The doctrine of non-resistance. The doctrine of non-resistance. Against arbitrary power. Against arbitrary power. And oppression, and oppression is absurd. It is absurd. Slavish. Slavish. And destructive of the good and happiness of mankind. And destructive of the good and happiness of mankind. <laughs> trying to get across is that my opinion is that this is reflecting on us as as coming across as disorder. How's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Can I get your name and badge number please? Um, is there a noise ordinance in Manchester? I was just wondering. Uh, the noise ordinance is... We're going to respect it either is, way. Uh, but... anything that's unreasonable. Okay. Like we've said before, though, if there are issues, we have no problem calling you guys. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yep. We have a liaison that has a direct line to the chief. Got a question. Yeah, and, okay. Uh, you know, Good, I'm just getting your name and badge number. Jay Breton. Yeah. One thirty. Today we did thanks. a small march down by a Veterans Park yep. showing our signs. I saw you guys down there. Cool, thanks. So, you mind if I get your name and badge? Sure, it's O'Leary, 56. All right, appreciate we're it. We're doing our best to stay civil and obedient, keep the park clean. As, as far as I know, Obedient, man, we're responsible or... to ourselves. Well, I'm saying obedient, yeah, yeah. We're, we're self organized and self sufficient. Right. We're, we're not, you know. Obedient sounds like we're slaves. <laughs> <laughs> I, I understand that. Yeah. It's a like choice of words. Right, yes. right. Hey, what's up, y'all? Just want to do an update. It's, uh, Tuesday, October 18th, we're in Manchester at Occupy New Hampshire. Uh, it moved today to Veterans Park, which is uh, was a couple blocks south of Victory Park and a block west. It's right on Elm Street, the main street that runs through downtown here. Um, though there were uh, threats, uh, I guess, by some employees of the Manchester Police Department that people here would be arrested uh, because there's a curfew at 11 p.m. in parks, apparently, uh, even though it's public property and it's paid for by stolen money. Uh, for some reason, some people claim the right to tell others when they can and can't be here. But uh, though there was that risk, uh, talking to folks on the ground, and it's after 11 o'clock right now, uh, it seems like that is not going to be acted on tonight. So um, there looks to be about, uh, I don't know, a dozen tents set up right now here in Veterans Park and maybe uh, 40 folks or so um, signs and uh, just having conversations, people are getting fed, but uh, atmosphere seems kind of chill, so I guess having nothing to report is a good thing in this case.